This is the Dualtron City. Let's do a little city ride. Join me and subscribe. Let's go. Hey Scootopians, old man Dan here. Welcome to Scootopia. Man, I have an exciting treat for you today. The Dualtron City. Today, I'm going to give you my first impressions of this Dualtron City, having been riding it here and there throughout my tour. Yeah, I'm still scooter bugging around the country on this US tour. Got about six states left to do. And um, I'm excited that it's coming to an end because I get to get two days of rest. <laughs> People say, well, will you be able to? I'm such a busy person, it's hard for me to just sit around and rest. But I'm gonna try and get two days of rest, all right? But this is the 2022 Dualtron City. What makes this so special, you say? Well, I think that this is the first iteration of any electric scooter that's going to segue e-bike riders and regular bicyclists into the electric scooter realm and electric scooter market. Why? because it is not that threatening. A lot of people feel very safe on electric, electric bikes and, um, and, and bicycles, and this gives people who are a little bit uneasy about electric scooters a, a good reason to segue into electric scooters. It's very manageable. Um, it does not have that aggressive takeoff, so it has a real smooth takeoff, and it also, the build on it allows you to be able to ride it and feel kind of bicycle bicycle-esque, if I can use that as a word, kind of, you know, you feel like you, you're on a bike, you feel safe um, on this scooter. So what makes it so special are these 15-inch wheels. You have 15-inch uh, uh, tubeless pneumatic tires, and also you have the 15-inch 15, the 15 wheels. This scooter um, comes with 3,984 watts of dynamic power um, that's dual watts um, about 1992 watts per wheel of power all right 25 amp hour battery pack it is the uh, LG 21700 series it's swappable <laughs> you, you can take this battery pack out grab the one out of your backpack put it in and you go from 55 miles of range to 100 miles of range. Go figure. Imagine that, will you? There is no electric vehicle on the market that's given you the possibility of getting that 100 miles of range uh, by swapping a battery that's only like 16 pounds. All right. Uh, this, I, I, one of the other things I like about this scooter is the space that it put between the headset and swing arm, giving you a shorter steering pole which means you have better stability that that stability allows you to get zero stem wobbles you know you're you're, you're it's just solid because it's shorter so you got a you got a solid real tight firm support from your steering pole to the headset you know the longer the pole is of course you're going to have more shape um, not the case with this scooter I've been riding this scooter around towns. This right here is the easiest riding city commuter I have ever gotten on. It's the best commuter I've ever ridden. Um, I've gotten into 47 miles an hour. It's slated to get 45 miles per hour, but I'm 240 pounds and I got 47 miles per hour on it so far. I think that people are going to uh, literally do 45 plus on the miles per hour. Um, the, the range, it's slated for 55 miles. I think that going at 20 miles per hour uh, will give a lot of people who are in that 165 pound range, will give you that true 50 to 55 miles of range. But the good thing about it is, even if it doesn't, it's a swappable battery. You can buy an extra battery and put it in your backpack. It's not too heavy, it's not too big to carry around. So that's another inviting feature. I love the way that the fenders were improved. Uh, especially the rear fender, the front fender, you get no spray back or front of debris, whether it's water, dirt, dust, mud, 
um, you, you just don't get it. Um, I do wish that they would have put a, a, a footrest on there. I think it's set up to where it would be something you'd be able to mod and add later, um, just based on this little area they have for a seat kit that they've created for the Dualtron City. All right, uh, so it's a, I'm anxious to see what it looks like because the best seat I've ever seen created for any electric scooter was the Dualtron X. That seat, it was just unique and it really fit the scooter and it looked impressive. You know, uh, a lot of people like myself don't use seats. Now, I have put it on and rode with my Dualtron X with the seat on it because it got so much attention with the seat on it. Uh, you have a more, a more robust kickstand. Uh, even the control arm and swing arms are improved. You have the multi-switch is improved. You have the um, I, the mini motor eye display that's improved. Uh, just so many things. I think the improvement in the display is why you get better throttling, you know, in terms of your throttling management. Uh, just the ease and two is not like the um, typical Dualtron with the hard uh, takeoff. Um, you also have dual charge ports. These are more advanced charge ports. So, and then you have your key area here to uh, lock your battery in place. And what can I say? It's just, it's just an amazing, amazing scooter. It does come with the RGB lighting in the control arm, the swing arm, the deck, and the steering pole. It has uh, front deck lights, and then it also has the rear uh, brake lights, flashers, and the tail light. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because as far as we are in electric scooters, um, companies should be making them with the five features that I constantly talk about, the standard features that every scooter should come with, and that's a headlight, front, front and rear facing turn signals, and the turn signal should be, you know, kind of high up so that they can be seen and not so low. Uh, but front and rear facing turn signals, a tail light, brake light, and a horn. Those five features are features that should come on every single electric scooter, all right? Uh, but this thing is a game changer. So if I were you, I'd be trying to, to check in somewhere to get an electric scooter. It just so happens, Mini Motors USA have them in stock right now. I'll jump on it while supplies last. Talk to John Cooper, tell them Old Man Dan sent you. They'll roll out the red carpet for you. I guarantee it. But check this scooter out. Isn't it a beauty? It's a beauty. And it's a beauty to ride. I'm 6'1". Big hands, big feet, 240 pounds. So I have, you know, features that are problematic for most people that are big dog riders have and have to deal with on electric scooters. And this scooter right here, I will say, and I'm sure Ramir would say as well, it is big dog approved. Um, mark my words, when you ride this scooter, you're going to agree. All right, but that's it. Um, I think the first ever, and I haven't found anything wrong with this scooter. It is just a joy to ride in the cities. The roads, that means potholes, bumps, dips, all these unexpected things that cause a person to fly off their scooter and you know, and all of that has been, I would say it's just been absolved with this scooter. So I think Mini Motors is really onto something with this scooter. I'm so glad that I bought and took it with me when I was at Mini Motors USA uh, because it is, it is a joy to ride, all right? <laughs> That's all I gotta say, it's not gonna be, a, this wasn't a long, you know, drawn out. It was just give you my first impressions on this beautiful uh, machine. And so this is Old Man Dan saying, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like, share my videos, and tell a friend. Do leave a comment down below about what you think of this Dualtron City. Old Man Dan saying, I'll see you next time. I'm out. Up, you boot up, you throw on your colors, you're ready to hang, riding with the fellas.